these are the three projects that we're presenting today in this order. Soko Fresh uh, from, uh, from Kenya, uh, Isfahani from Bangladesh, and Mandalus, uh, who will be joining us from Uganda. Let's go on to the very first presentation of today. That will be Dennis Karema from uh, Soko Fresh. Dennis, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Um, uh, hello, everyone. My name is Dennis Karema. I'm the CEO of Soko Fresh. Um, here in Nairobi, Kenya, and I want to share with you the story of uh, Soko Fresh. Um, we in Africa have uh, young people of a great promise, and the backbone of our economy is agriculture. And at Soko Fresh, we are helping smallholder farmers to take their farming business to the next level. We see that the odds are stuck against smallholder farmers, and we uh, putting in a great and innovative business model that enables farmers to really make a great opportunity out of farming. And the way we do that uh, is by tackling post-harvest loss. About 40% of all the produce that smallholder farmers here in Kenya produce goes to waste. And the reason for this is because of lack of cold storage and poor aggregation. And at Soko Fresh, we have a scalable climate smart solution that can take the distress of these farmers. And we, are, we have demonstrated that we are able to take um, post-harvest loss from the highs of 40% to the lows of 2%. And how do we do this? We do this in two ways. One, we avail mobile solar-powered cold storage, uh, and this makes aggregation much better. And the second thing we do is that we connect farmers to the market through a market linkage platform. So let me share with you the touch points that we have with smallholder farmers. The first thing is uh, we link smallholder farmers uh, to uh, demand for the produce. And this informs them of how much they need to harvest, when they need to harvest. Um, and we then set up cold storage facilities close enough to these uh, rural communities where all the harvested produce can be aggregated for two to three days awaiting collection by the buyer. And the last bit is that uh, buyers either collect or we organize for transportation for this produce. The farmer gets paid for the produce and the farmer is able to pay an access fee for Soko Fresh services. And over the past year, we've seen great progress. We have been able to prove that this bundle service model works. We have worked with over a thousand smallholder farmers. We've been able to demonstrate a 20% increase in their income and over 100,000 kilos of produce have been safeguarded through the use of the mobile solar powered cold storages. We have also seen in increased participation of women smallholder farmers in our value chain. We had 25% and as I'll communicate a bit later, we are working to get this to 60% of women participation. Uh, and because we are leveraging purely on solar powered cold storages, we also uh, have a solution that is great for the environment. And um, just earlier this year, the World Economic Forum uh, ranked Soko Fresh as one of the 17 most promising circular economy startups here in the world. But we need your help to be able to scale. The reason we are here is because we have great ambition. The challenge that we are solving is uh, prominent here in Kenya, but as well across Sub-Saharan Africa. We are currently at nine cold storage hubs in 2021, and we have a great ambition that by the year 2024, we'll get to 190 cold storages, and we'll be able to serve over 152,000 smallholder farmers across Kenya. And there are three key things that we have to do to make this work. One is activating our solution in new value chains. The second one is setting up in new locations where uh, more smallholder farmers can access this service. And the third is uh, leveraging on investment in uh, CAPEX to be able to uh, procure additional mobile solar powered cold storages. And for the third building block, we are in the pipeline for DFCD. And for the other two, we are here today to, be, to pitch uh, why the 100,000 euros is critical and catalytic for Soko Fresh, because it enables us to do two of the three key things that are uh, important for us to be able to scale. 
we are able to activate a new value chain. That's the banana value chain. And the reason we've chosen this value chain is one, there is a great need for cold storage, but also it's a women dominated value chain here in Kenya. And you're also able to set up in a new county called Meru that predominantly has uh, bananas and has a big challenge of uh, uh, preservation of this uh, produce and getting it to the market to get the right price. And so how are we going to spend the 100,000 uh, euros? You're going to spend 60,000 of it in farmer engagement. Uh, and here, our goal is to be able to grow our current database from 1,254 smallholder farmers to 7,500 farmers and to increase women participation by recruiting women uh, uh, to be a uh, part and parcel of the customers accessing the Socopest service. And how we do this is that we are going to add additional team members, uh, farmer engagement staff, uh, who are able to recruit farmers and demonstrate the service to them. And we are also going to further invest in our market linkage platform by spending 40,000 uh, euros in enhancing the platform to accommodate the new value chain and to be able to handle the increased growth uh, for Soko Fresh. The result of this is that uh, the impact we see is that we are drastically able to reduce post-harvest losses by being able to prove the use case for Soko Fresh cold storage in a new value chain uh, where farmers can access these mobile solar powered cold storages. We will also uh, be able to have 7,500 new farmers uh, able to access the service with 60% of them being women, uh, as well as unlocking a minimum of 20% increased income by the farmers safeguarding the quality of their produce and accessing new markets that we enable them to access. Uh, it's also critical for our business because we are able to prove our model in a new value chain, uh, and that's one of the building blocks to scale. And lastly, we are leveraging on solar power, so it's great for the environment. And also, we are saving millions of liters of water by preserving produce that would otherwise have gone to waste. So we welcome you to join us to solve this urgent issue affecting millions of smallholder farmers here in Africa. Thank you very much. Well, yes. I was uh, a little bit surprised when I heard people's uh, clap because a lot of these events are happening online and uh, suddenly we have this offline. That was actually very nice. Thank you. Um, well, uh, Dennis, there you are. Um, well, that was uh, Dennis's uh, five-minute pitch. Uh, Juri, it's over to you. Who would like to kick off with uh, questions? Uh, 